slide. Ready. Go. I'm Phelan Hill. I've been the COTS of the Great Britain Men's 8 now for eight years. My name's Zoe Detelado. I'm the COTS of the Women's 8. I've been rowing for 13 years now. The COTS is, is, is the eyes and the ears in the, in, in the boat. The COTS has the ability to get more out of an athlete than you can get yourself. If you ever go in, a, in the COTS box, which is a device that we can hear, it breaks. It's chaos. The relationship that, the, that they can have with their crew, the relationship that they can have with their coach, and, and working that is a bit of a tightrope. I get feedback from the Cox because he has his ear even closer than me to the athlete so I can react. You will see things that the coaches don't see, um, and then it's, it's working out what you need to do with that. Of course, you know, he's not a spy. <laughs> The most important attribute of a cox is very unglamorous to me. They need to steer straight. That's the fundamental, not to waste any, any of the rose energy by going more than 2,000 metres. A cox talks us through a race. He talks us through the speeds, the positioning in the race. And he's a coach. He's a link between the coach on the bank and, the, and a coach in the water. If the coach is working on a particular part of the stroke and then says, yes, that's, that's a good improvement, what did I feel, what did I see, what did I hear, so that next time I can get that change from the crew without having the coach there to say it. A good crew can win without a cox, but a good crew with a good cox can be the best crew. Off the water, I'll talk to some of the guys about technical issues when they're on the ergo. I also like to go and see what all their scores are, just so I know where they are physically, how tired they are, how fresh they are. The biggest thing for me is watching the athletes and trying to tap into what motivates them on a daily basis because if you can tap into that then you can probably tap into that during a race. She really makes an effort to sort of understand what drives you as an athlete. She's very cool, calm and collected pretty much all the time and she even bought a megaphone so she's actually taking her coaching role a bit more seriously. Ultimately, there's going to be at times on the water where you're asking them to work harder, do more, and obviously their classic comeback is... He's the lazy git in the boat. Oh, what do you do all day? Well, he's just making up the weight, isn't he? <laughs> you just, you know, sit on your ass and... Actually, can I say that? You need to be able to demand something of your athletes which they might not like you for. We have a steady level of banter, I'd say, between us and her. Seeing as though she gets a free ride up in the stern and we're doing all the hard work. But at the end of the day, you're all there for the same reason, which is to make the boat go as fast as possible. It feels like it's really building to me good. I feel the team is so strong. I don't think we're putting any ceiling on our abilities. Keep the bows rising. I wouldn't have gone these four years if I didn't firmly believe that we could win the eight. For me, that's that's all that matters is is winning.